<clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. There is no music right now because this is another episode of me ranting about things that I see in the news. And we're going to do this before my uh, <clears throat> Ambien kicks in. You guys, we'll get to the Space Force's new yeah, ugly ass uniform. But did you guys... We had the Met Gala like two weeks ago. And then we had the Emmys Sunday night. Is anybody else noticing a pattern here that it seems to me that uh, the elite, the people that run the country, like the political elite and then the other elite, which is just rich people, actors, famous people, people that are famous for being famous because they showed their butt or they made a sex tape when they were 19 and now somehow these are supposed to be people I'm supposed to listen to. Like when Kim Kardashian is selling cryptocurrency and I, I think I railed about this before but it's like who in their right mind goes, sees Kim Kardashian up there going, yeah and that's why for my retirement choice I trust Ethereum. And who's going... A solid, that's solid investing. A solid investing advice right there. You know, I, I wish I had gotten this when I was younger. Kim Kardashian giving me uh, investment advice. Yeah, way to go. All right. But it seems to me that the people that are supposed to take the pandemic seriously are just us little people. You look at the Met Gala, everybody there. They're just wandering around with no masks on. They're just, you know, having a good old time, laughing for the cameras. And apparently if you're, you know, wealthy and well-connected, COVID doesn't seem to affect you and it's not a super spreader event. It's only when you get the dirty middle class and poors getting together that the uh, COVID virus seeks you out. I, I don't... Anyways, you know, whatever. I, I don't really care. I don't know who watches. Do you watch? Do, do you actually watch the Emmys? Do you know anybody that watches the Emmys? Like, could you put me in touch with them so that I can talk to them and ask them why they watch the Emmys? And, like, what is it? I don't get it because I, I truly don't understand it. I don't understand the vapid hero worship of celebrities. I mean, I understand the draw of it, but I don't understand. Like, look, when you're looking at a celebrity and they're up there, even that super hot actress chick in that, you know, ridiculous $5,000 dress that looks exactly the same as a $5 Walmart dress made by Chinese slaves. You know, you got to remember at the end of the day, she still takes a dump. So I don't understand why anybody puts anybody on a pedestal, whether it be politicians or celebrities. Like, oh, I'm so-and-so. You may know me from Melrose Place. And I'm just here to tell you to get vaccinated. Like, oh, thanks, Amanda from Melrose Place. That's where I wanted to get my medical advice with some actress whose main talents are being hot and being okay at pretending to be somebody else. Please know, tell me more about how I should live my life. Thank you, chick from Who's the Boss. Thank you for telling me that I don't need an AR-15 because I should just hire private security to guard me. Thank you, Who's the Boss chick. I'll get it. Look at it. You know, you got AOC up there. Don't hate the, don't hate the player, hate the game. She's out there. AOC's hustling in her tax the rich dress. Somehow she is some firebrand socialist when her entire family is wealthy and she makes $174,000 a year for being a hateful you can fill that in. Um, I'm not going to do it, but yeah, it's, I, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. I don't I don't even get why other celebrities want to go to these events. Like if I was a famous stand-up comedian, I might host it. If they were like, "Hey, do you want to host the Emmys?" I'd be like, "Well, how much are you paying me?" Well, it's really just the prestige of hosting the Emmys. Then no, because you have to pay me to exist around a bunch of vapid celebrities while I'm listening to them smell each other's farts when they're talking in a confined room about how extraordinary. Instead of extraordinary, it's extraordinary. What an extraordinary human being that that person is because they're good at pretending to be somebody else. You like shooting guns? How barbaric. You're a caveman. Yeah, all right, whatever. Anyways, before we get to the whole Gabby thing, that's that chick that that dude murdered out in um, Grand Tetons. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to rant about this a little bit too. It's like when you see somebody, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get why. People care about celebrities and politicians. It's just like, dude, they don't care about you. Like, I don't understand why you care about... They only care about lining their own pockets. And, you know... Whatever, let's get off of that. You know, so... Gabby Petito. That's this chick's name. So, you know, you got... Joy Reid out there blasting this as missing white woman syndrome. Could this woman be any more of a see you next Tuesday? Could Joy Reid, like, look, I don't care if it comes out and Joy Reid sees this and she wants to have me on her stupid show where she's like, did you really call me a see you next Tuesday? Like, yeah, I did because somebody's kid is missing and murdered and you're on TV talking about, like, I was missing white woman syndrome. Like, is this woman, is there, like, a more vile creature besides maybe Chris Cuomo on CNN right now? This woman just, she sucks. Like, there's, like, I really, I don't have, I don't really have a, like, anything more to really say about her other than, she just sucks. At a time of grief, she has a national platform and she wants to scream about gender identity politics. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess if that's what pays your bills, I, you do you. But I, I just, I don't know. Maybe hopefully, you know, 2021 do something good, maybe rid the channels of this person. I'm not saying anything negative. I'm just saying 2021 would be a nice present. But the coroner, coroner confirms human remains found at Wyoming campsite belong to Gabby Petito and rules her death a homicide as police search for her fiance, Brian Laundry. I, I, I don't know. I personally think that this dude is going to suicide himself because I don't see any way out of this. But it goes to like a different level of, like we all know, right? When a woman's missing and you're sitting there and you're seeing the press conference, right? I'll set the stage for you. You're sitting there. It's a, you know, Monday night, you got back from work, and then there's another missing white woman. Okay? So missing white woman syndrome is in effect. And you're sitting there, and then you see the the boyfriend or the husband, and he just goes up there, and he's like, Hey, uh, yeah, uh, please come home. I have no idea what happened to my girlfriend slash wife. Please come home, baby. I miss you so much. And we all just kind of like look and we're watching and we're like, yeah, that dude did it. 
That dude murdered his his spouse. And you like you just sit there and you're like, you have to wonder. You have to wonder what's going through the dude's head. Is he like sitting there going, Man, I'm really fooling these people. You know, it's not like the cops, they look at those closest to him when somebody is disappears or is murdered. Like, wow, I'm really fooling everyone that uh, I didn't do this. And it, it's like, I don't get it. People were saying that, I, you know, I was wrong about this at work when I was talking about just leaving an abusive relationship. And I'm like, okay. Because if you don't know, the, the um, Rangers, they have Gabby Petito on um, camera crying and sobbing because uh, her boyfriend was slapping her and somebody called the cops. And the ranger said, this is a toxic relationship and you want to leave it. Okay. When you're young, I get it. You've never been in this situation before. You don't know how to leave. But if you're like in your 30s and you know, you're in an abusive relationship, whether you're a dude or a chick, I really don't get it. I'm sorry. I wish I had a lot of sympathy for you, but it's like, if I came home, like let's say I had a roommate, right? I live alone, but let's just say I had a roommate, right? And I came home from work, right? And uh, I don't know, I, I left out a spoon or something and that set off old boy and he was capable of beating me and he just threw me a beating for leaving a spoon on the counter. I'm gonna move out. I, 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 I'm gonna move out of my house. I, I'm gone. You know, cause I know this is gonna end one of two ways. This dude is probably gonna kill me. You know, like, I, it's why it's like, I don't, I don't understand the capacity that people have that they're so afraid of being alone that they're willing to be in a in an abusive relationship and then they well you don't know how hard it is to leave an abuser like i know if somebody whooped my ass in my apartment well, i live in a house now but if i had a roommate and he came home and he whooped my ass like once a month i'm moving out i'm sorry it could be like my best friend that i grew up with I didn't know that he was an abuser. I come home from work and he's like, yo, Jay, he's like, did you cook that turkey I told you to cook? And I'm like, no, dude, I, I forgot to cook that turkey. And then he just backhands me in the mouth and there's nothing I can do about it. And this drags on like once a month. And then, you know, the next day he comes home and he's like, I'm really sorry about slapping you around last night because you forgot to cook the turkey. I bought you a new PlayStation 5 game. I'm still leaving. I mean, I, the new God of War that's coming out. I mean, taking an ass kicking for that game may be justified. Maybe I'll take one or two ass whoopings for a new video game. But, I mean, if it's just consistent, like I'm forgetting minor things, and we'll just throw this, let's say this guy's name's Brett. And, that, you know, he texts me at work. Hey, man, don't forget to uh, go to the store and get some uh, milk. And I forget it because I had a rough day. Come through the door, get open hand slapped because I forgot the milk. I'm moving out. I, I don't know. I don't mean to make light of abuse, but I'm just saying... I understand if you got a kid and you're dependent on the person financially, but then there's still the redress of court. So I don't understand why this dude, Brian Laundry, I don't trust anybody named after a chore. I'm going to be honest with you on that. Like, if you're named after certain things, I don't trust you. But like being named after a chore, doing laundry, 
I don't I can't trust you at that point. You're up to something. But I mean I, I don't understand. This isn't the first time that he probably hit her. What makes her decide to go, oh, you know what we should do? We should drive across the country together and go to the go into the the, the the West, into the vast frontier where nobody else is around. I'm sure nothing bad will happen out there. Hey, I'm not saying it was justified. All I'm saying is, I don't understand why you didn't leave the guy at the first sight of him slapping you around. Whatever. Well, dude probably got eaten by a gator anyways. Dude's stupid. I hope he got... I hope Brian Laundry gets eaten by a gator. I hope he's out and, like, they find, like, just a leg, like, hanging out of a gator's mouth. Oh, uh... How long have we been going? 16 minutes. I don't like to make these things too long for YouTube. Anyways, we'll call that a rant. I don't think I can top it. Maybe tomorrow we'll do DC finally ex begins to accept Hunter laptop is real 11 months after it was revealed. Wow. <laughs> These people are on top of it. Anyways, like and subscribe or don't. I'm out and uh, have a wonderful day.